Hey guys, it's me, Fearji here. Today I'm going to be playing a spooky game called Insomnus Experiment. So yeah, without wasting more time, let's grow into it. Play. What? Inspired by the Russian sleep experiment, Creepypasta. Okay. I think I played other games that are based on that. Rus Russian researchers in the late 1940s kept five people awake for 15 days using a, a, a experimental gas-based stimulant. Okay. Yeah, I played games like this, yeah. There's one that was only a demo. Also, this game by Fidus Games. I haven't seen a game by him in a while, so it was cool to see this. But yeah, this looks actually fairly good so far. Hell yeah. Now, you can sprint. Well, not here, but I'm guessing we get chased at some point. Well, this looks creepy already. Like, what? Okay. Guess we go through here. What's well, on the floor? I'm guessing it's wire. Yeah, it goes inside the wall. Wait, x ray. Is there anything inside this person? I don't reckon just. Yeah, that's what a human looks like. I <laughs> mean, you got the rape cage and stuff. Alright, no mess around. Okay, so far nothing really going on, but it's only the beginning of the game. Okay, you got what well, looks like a control panel, but we can't interact with it, okay? Oh. Um. What is that? Oh, this is scary. What was that? So, it sounds like some very big monster. I don't want to be near it. But we have to go this way to progress, obviously. Okay, anything in there? No. Alright, um, it's like we're in some sort of hospital. Well, dang, guys, we hit that end. Damn. Well, the monster is somewhere, somewhere here. Can we open this door? No. Okay. Hmm. Got another one of these control panels. Yeah, this looks like a hospital type setup going on here. Oh, another x-ray. Oh. Doctor. We kept them for 15 days, breathing that gas. Awake. Okay. Yeah, that's what the Russian sleep experiment, which which I assume does not happen anymore. Yeah, no, it was like a thing back in the olden times. Obviously, this isn't done now. It's probably highly illegal to keep someone awake for 15 days. Yeah, like. Your brain starts to get di damaged after like a while of not sleeping, like especially that long, and you hallucinate pretty bad. Yeah, I don't think anybody recovers from that. Also, this door's open. Yeah, I don't think anybody ever recovered fine f from that. There had to be a catch, right? Yeah. Oh, I was just looking at that. Okay. Yeah, that's what happens if we stay awake for so long. You know, your brain is getting reset. Like, yeah. Not good things came from this experiment, I would imagine. Although, it's only a creepypasta. Yeah, I'm just realizing that. It's only a creepypasta. It could have happened in real life, though. You never know, right? Okay, which room am I supposed to go in? This room is... I assume it's not a real door. Okay. Yeah, I'm realizing this is a creepypasta, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's spooky either way, obviously. Alright. Wonder, are we a victim of it? Or. Yeah, who are we? We're going through this, like, dilapidated hospital. Oh, now, now we're going through, like, some strange, like, tunnel. Wind damn! Alright, it's gonna get creepy. Oh. oh not that bad. Surprise, actually. Okay. Oh. After nine days, one test subject started screaming until his vocal cords broke. Then another one did the same. And then the screaming stopped. As well as the whispers. That doesn't sound too pleasant. <laughs> screaming until your vocal cords can't take it and then just keep going. 
That's like singing out after your voice is worn out. Like what? That's not a good thing to do. Obviously demonstrated by that person on the radio thingy. All right, back in the normal hallway. I don't think even this is normal. Yeah, what the heck? It's actually creepy so far though. Like what? I already got another x-ray. So you think two of these are just basic? I think it's just basic, like no frills. Oh, that one down the bottom actually looks cool with the skull. Like, yeah, the teeth, yeah, that actually looks sick. <laughs> sick x-ray, too. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it looks cool. Like, it's a cool image you picked for that. I assume it's a stock picture. Where he made himself? Yeah, in Photoshop. Oh, right, we got a door that's not open. This raises a concern. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought we were blocked from opening that. All right. Wait. you. Okay, we're still inside. Oh. With pity, watching, seeking your eyes, and I close to stay open. One more thing to do. One less moment to sleep. Clock reset. Start waiting again. Fall asleep. Lose yourself. Find what lies beneath the surface. Ready, waiting to swallow you all until there is nothing. But at that moment is everything. Keep your eyes open. If they don't close, they can't stop you. The true strength you have. Is this guy gonna stop? Falling into a spiral that will be death. You can't stop them. They will find you. There okay, this guy doesn't stop. I'm just gonna go. Now you stop, I assume you're in that jail so okay. Oh, this is where I assume this is where the experiments took place. The guy couldn't wouldn't stop until yeah, I guess I had to walk up towards the cage. Oh, that's interesting. I guess in doubt that was the whispering. Okay. It's not a proper chamber though, because it has bars here with that. Alright. What's this? Well, this looks interesting. Oh, another one of these things. Alright. What's the story now? After three more days, we couldn't see what was inside the room. The test subjects weren't making any sounds either, but. We knew they were inside, according to how much oxygen was being consumed. Hmm. Sure, there's a deadly. There's no. There's no way there's a monster inside the other day. All right, another X-ray. Okay. They took a lot of X-rays of the subjects. I assume after they perished. Yeah. <laughs> after they perished, no sleep for 15 days. Yeah. They probably took on on the X-rays. Hmm. All right. Well then. Hmm, this looks interesting. Which way am I supposed to go? What the hell? There's two ways to go? I'm surprised there isn't a jump scare in one of these pipes. Like, what the heck? I'm just gonna go this way? Okay, this is actually a dead end. Oh, look at this. Really, we don't interact with this? This looks, this is, looks like it's begging for you to press and hold E on it to turn it. Like, what? Okay, we don't go this way. Okay, I just want to make sure. Like, I, I want to explore everything, obviously. Alright. Let's go this way. It's oddly quiet. Yeah, actually, too quiet with that. The only sounds my footstep. When they're radio thingy. Guys, it is actually creepy, like what? Like, you never know what's gonna happen. Alright, what happened now? Oh, nurse. The doctor announced that they will open the chamber to test the microphones. That the people inside need to get on the ground or they will be shot. Then we heard a whisper. We no oh. want to be freed. Um. Should I be concerned? Um. Oh god, I, I assume we have to escape before the gas. Oh, we can't sprint still. It shifts to sprint, but we can't sprint yet. Well, actually, no. The only fight to say can't sleep. There's no other like weird effects. Do we go this way? No. Well, I'm supposed to. Oh. Um. That's creepy. That might be the thumbnail. Use left shift to run. Oh, now you tell me. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, I'm going to press and hold the button until my person gets tired. Okay, radio. Okay, not important. Not important. Oh. Well, now it's important. The test subject had his abdominal organs removed, but the doctor was cutting and trying to place the organs back. They were not painful anymore. They ate their own flesh, ripped their own organs out. And I looked at his eyes and his mouth curled into a smile. That's creepy. I'm just gonna go. Cool story, bro. I'm going to dip. What's going on? I um. Remain awake. Um. Cool story, bro. I'm I'm getting out of here. I was told to sprint for obvious reason. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. I don't know if I missed one of those radios. Oh. What? Can we turn off the flashlight to increase our chances? Oh. We should probably turn off the flashlight, you know? Oh. Okay, we're told to exit the locker. Oh, no. This is creepy. Okay. Huh, we're in a different room now? What's this? Okay, we're in a different room now. <laughs> That's creepy. Open this damn door now. Open the door. I'm gonna hide in the locker again. Or do I hide in the locker again? No. It's on tell me I can. Oh, did it open? No. Okay, so we're stuck in here. Oh. Thank you for playing. There are more horrors. There are more nightmares. Thank you for supporting my horror games and the talented voice actors. Let us know your thoughts about the game on itch.io. Thank you. I'm going to assume that was it. I mean, I don't know if I died or not. Okay, see you after massive jump cut. I don't know if that's the true end or not. So yeah. See you after the massive jump cut. Okay, so it looks like that's it. So I didn't die or anything. That is actually legitimately the end of the game. Gotta say it's not bad. I haven't seen a game from you in like a little bit, but you have redeemed yourself with this cool little game. Yeah, I gotta say, that was actually pretty freaking creepy. Like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, I know you like your Nox Team War games are creepy, but I think that takes the cake, honestly. Huh, actually, he's been releasing a lot of games. Umbra Halloween, Sor Sorrow Asylum 2. How recent are these, actually? He's on paid, so I'm most likely not gonna play him. I don't really want to spend money. Oh, 65 days ago, see, he's been absent for a while. But he has returned with this thing. Yeah, I gotta say, this is pretty creepy. <laughs> he had me on edge the entire time, honestly, yeah, going through his creepy corridors, yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe for more videos, and take care. See you in the next one.